Mavery for Kokoro Connect, episode 15, so let's get into this. So, this episode here today, it, it, it's a good episode. It's another good episode, though Nagisa's really irking me, but Inaba's getting cuter every day, so I mean, I, 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 I can dig it. So, you know, this is a good episode. I, there's a couple things I really want to touch upon in here, so I'm going to give you a brief synopsis, and, you know, let's, 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 get, let's get into the discussion part of this. So, basically... Tychians are overhearing and I was feeling about wanting to, you know, close the group and stuff, disband the, the um, club. So they end up meeting up at a cafe and they basically come to a realization that they don't really want to, you know, disband the group. Because what they're, what the, what they now was thinking is that if they disband the group, Balloon Vi will stop messing with them. But, I mean, at the same time, I don't think that would really work anyway. Because, I mean, they'll have to stop being friends and all, all together and he doesn't want to have that. Now does she. And so, you know, there comes a realization, you know, we don't, don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. Not to mention Tychi also ends up getting a bit of confidence after trying to just basically go get over the whole rejection thing from Nagase. And so he ends up going home, and this is a funny scene right here. Tai Chi <laughs> misinterprets his sister's, uh, you know, feelings and stuff, because he thought his sister liked him, liked him, like, you know, you know, want to kiss, be lovey dovey and stuff, because the whole Valentine's Day chocolate that he got from her. Um, that's, yeah. And so after that, she's like, no, I, just, I, I, I didn't like you like that. I was just, just to give it to you and everything. And so this scene right here is then. Then she ends up kissing Taichi basically, and he's like, "Yes, I got a kiss from my my sister." And then that emotion went to everybody, so everybody heard that and like, "Ooh!" I was like, "Oh, a girl's that was that was hilarious. That was hilarious. I mean, I, I I really enjoyed that part." And so after this, they end up going back to school and everything. The next day, and Yui trying to get some confidence and wants to talk to Nagase because Nagase actually helped Yui before. And so that's what she goes and do. And so she tries to talk to Nagase. The, the conversation did not go well. It, it, it just it, it went it went bad. It went bad. And now Nagase cuts like I don't even really want to be a friend anymore. Like we don't we, need, we don't need to be friends. And just like it's just it, it went really bad. And she now after the whole conversation, she's sitting down waiting for a bus. I'm guessing. And that's when Balloon Vine ends up coming. Is like hello, I am here, Balloon Vine and stuff. And so he ends up talking to her and he's like, dude, what do you think about this whole situation which, which you're in right now? And so Yui though ends up you know, getting tough. She's like, nah, I ain't about to just sit here and take this. We're gonna, she basically kind of says the same thing as Aoki said, but just with different words, basically. You, you gonna do the best you can, basically. And he's like, this, you know, you're just as, no, you're just as boring as Aoki, but, or maybe not, but I don't know, maybe I should stop this. And he kind of, recons he kind of considers that. I'm like, interesting, interesting. And so at the end of this episode, Inaba ends up confronting Naga saying is wondering why did you reject not why did you reject Tai Chi? What's wrong with you? You know, something was something was wrong. What is your feelings? I want to know exactly what you're feeling. And so she's like, okay, fine, I'll spit it out. And so basically, Inawa is a contradiction, and it's interesting how she just spout this out. I was really curious about it because basically, um, Naga <laughs> Naga say ends up telling Inaba that. First, you pushed uh, me to go with Tai Chi, and so now I finally had some interest in Tai Chi. You then started trying to like Tai Chi as well, and then you then you go around and get mad that I rejected him, though you like Tai Chi. So it's like you push us to come together, and and you, then you want to be liking him all of a sudden. That's a contradiction right there. And then you get mad that I reject him because I mean, it gives you a chance to freaking be with him. It's just like it's it's weird. I'm like, what the heck? She makes a point though. She makes a point, and so basically that is the end of the episode. So with that being said. Like I said, it's just what Inaba said. I mean, what what Nagase said to Inaba, very very interesting because she she isn't contradicting. She she's contradicting herself because you did push them to really be together, and then all of a sudden you just have you start getting feelings for Tai Chi. And it's like, didn't you want them to be together in the first place? So why are you kind of butting in and messing that up in a sense? Though I don't really know if that's really what's bothering Nagase, but. I know that she just brought that out because it's, I mean, it's fact. It's fact. You know, she she's liking them all of a sudden. It's kind of, you know, making a battle. Like maybe that's what she wanted, you know, you're being selfish, which she's also saying too. So I'm just like, no, no, you know, it's just like, no. <laughs> so I mean, it, it made sense. It made sense. And so I'm just like, not say it made some facts right there on, on her. And so when it came to Balloon Vine, I'm kind of surprised that he's actually reconsidering this whole, whole thing. He's not entertained by this, I guess. He's not having as much fun because they've grown so much already. So it's like, I don't know. It's not really working out. It's not. It's not fun. We got freaking um, Naga say sitting there not doing anything. You know, she just she's been like a she's been like heart seed in the sense, with showing no emotion. Like the only reason we hear anything from her is because there's confrontation going at her. Otherwise, she's. I don't think she's even thinking anything. She just she's just in a different world or something. She's she's. I don't know. I'm not really sure what's wrong with her. And that's the thing. Naga say Lori is also a contradiction because the thing is. 
she's like, oh, you don't understand me and stuff. How are people, how is anyone gonna understand you if you don't explain anything? If you don't know, we can't. You can't understand anybody if someone doesn't actually take the time to actually explain it to you or 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 just spout out your feelings. If you're just gonna be like a deaf mute and not say anything, you, I mean. You you gotta you gotta say something. You you can't just be like, oh, you don't understand me. No one's gonna understand you if you don't say anything. It, it just it doesn't make sense. So I'm just like, I'm not sure if you want people to understand you. Though is a thing, but maybe she does. I mean, I'm 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 curious and I'm thinking that's what it is. But maybe she's wanting Tai Chi to do something. There's a possibility Tai Chi can, needs to do something because Yui did confront with Tai Chi, talk to Tai Chi and stuff, and basically saying you used to just jump into people's business anyway. So why aren't you doing this now? Why are you not helping her? And so I'm thinking the next episode that's what's gonna happen because the next episode. It shows that she actually shows emotion. She starts crying. She's about to punch somebody in the face. So I'm like, so, so, something's going on. Something's going on with her in the next episode. So I'm thinking Tai Chi is maybe the reason for this. Maybe he actually finally gets something out of her. Because we don't, the thing is, the characters in the show don't know what's going on with her. Neither do we, though. You know, so we're just like, we're just like the bystanders waiting for, for her, like, what's wrong with her. We want to know what's wrong with her because someone can help her. And the thing is, again, she digressed from what we've seen previously. So it's like, it just it, it just irks me a little bit because I keep seeing her. She's not, she she wants people to understand her, or she wants to like people want to, people. She wants people to know the real her, but she won't give her real self out there. I, I don't. It's just, ah, it's just I don't know. Like I said, I can say it's just like ah ah brain destruction. <laughs> like I don't know what's going on with her. So. Yeah, so I'm, I'm just guessing next episode is going to be some crazy stuff happening when it comes to Tai Chi part. It's funny that Tai Chi acted like that, though. Like, that scene was just hilarious. I was like, really? 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 Really, Tai Chi? <laughs> so, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I really like this episode. So, I'm looking forward to seeing what the next episode holds for us. So, with that being said, leave a comment below and tell me what you think of the episode. Like, like this review, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more Coco Connect reviews. Because I'm, you know, winding this down soon. There's only, like, what, what, one or two episodes left. So, yeah. It's been The Breakmaster. And until then... Breakout.